So the very first card that we have coming up for you is the Princess of Pentacles, also known as the Page of Pentacles in other decks. I always refer to them as pages and some people kind of call me out on that. But they, yes, it's the princess in this deck, but they are pages. The heart of your reading. Nice. We have the emperor. I'll show you all of them as I put them down and then I'll go through them the same way as I usually do. Beautiful. You have the four of wands coming up as a past energy. We have the four of cups coming up as a present energy. Future, we have the two of wands. Wow, another page, another princess coming up at, as the advice card. Sorry, guys, these are like... it's It's been a nightmare trying to get the lighting sorted out on this reading, um, for this these videos, because I need it to be illuminated enough so you can see everything, but then it, the light kind of shines off the card. So I do apologise about that. But like I said, I'll go back to the old way next time. Um, but enough moaning and groaning about my lighting problems. The first card that we have coming up is your underlying energy is, like I said, the Page of Pentacles, the Princess of Pentacles in this deck. Now, pages, they can, or princesses, sorry, I'll try to call it the princess. Princesses, they are messengers. They bring us messages um, or offers even. And this can be news of some kind of offer that we receive. Now, this pentacle, I don't know if you can see this, sorry, guys. Um, this pentacle that she's kind of holding out or offering out, that to me always speaks of something of value, something that we value. And, pe and pentacles are something tangible. It's not the idea of something, it's like something that we can hold on to, something that we want. Um, and it offers us stability, security and support. That's why we love it. That's why we want it. That's why it's a kind of enticing offer. Now, I've seen this card represent everything from an engagement ring to the contract on a house, um, the contract for a new job. It's, so it's something that's offered to us, but something that, you know, we find security in that it's stability for us. So it can, it can, you know, this is not a, this is something that you're going to want. You want this. Now, why is it then? We have that as an underlying energy. And then we have, uh, but it's that way when, when it's kind of laid out, this is how they came up. So we have the emperor coming up at the heart of your reading, but he's looking away from this. See that? He's not looking at it. He's looking away from it. And it's like he's looking towards the past because I have the past card coming up in front of him. Um, here with the four of wands, but I'll get to that in a moment. So it's almost as if someone's making some kind of an offer. Um, it doesn't have to be romantic. Um, it can be. Like I said, this it just came up, I think for Sagittarius, a few months ago, it came up. And when Sagittarius came back and said, yeah, it was an engagement ring, I got engaged. But it's almost as if someone's offering something the other person, and it can work both ways. The energy is a general reading. So this can be your energies or the energies of someone that you're kind of very closely closely involved with at this time. Someone who's involved in our story. Someone's offering it. The other person is kind of looking the other way. Now the emperor, he's very stubborn. <laughs> he's very stubborn energy. Sometimes we need that because he comes in and takes control. He's very good at taking control of a situation, knowing what needs to be done in a situation. He makes sense of a situation. But it's almost as if he does not he's not looking at it now is that because he's being stubborn is that because he's trying to figure out if like he's looking to the past so is he trying to figure out if that's real if that's a real offer is that something that he really wants to take on so there is this kind of um energy coming up there the sense of that happening here we'll see how that plays out what else i mean the emperor he's the card for aries so you might be dealing with an aries but like I said, this could be you being stubborn or someone else. And stubborn, I use the word stubborn, but I don't mean that in like a bad way. Um, sometimes we need to be. Sometimes we need to stick to our guns, right? We need to know what it is that we want, know, decide what we want to do. Like he's an emperor. He's very good at running his empire. Whatever his kingdom is, whatever he's ruling, he's very good at it. And how does he do that? By my way or the highway. He has his rules, he sticks to them, he knows what how to do things. But the problem can be when he only knows how to do things his own way. He doesn't, he's not open to like compromising or taking on someone else's um, opinion. So I've got an itchy nose there, so what that means. But yeah, so this offer that comes in, it kind of feels like it's something that he's not convinced, that's what I'm getting. Someone's not convinced that it's as stable or as secure as um it may be now i don't think they're rejecting it completely and the reason i say that is um because he's looking to the past so it's almost as if it's almost as if he's trying to look like do a little recap like you know okay so what happened here what's what's gone on here um that's interesting because 
like I said, the uh, princes of pentacles can be um, offer of a job, a house, an engagement ring. Like, you know, it's, it's a stable offer, something that offers stability. But so is this. This is something that we committed to in the past. It's come up as a past energy and the card itself isn't about the past, but it's coming up in the past position. The four of wands is that we've got a stable foundation. We've made a good start at something. We've put in some effort and it's that first kind of stop when you can look back and think, wow, I did a good job here. You can celebrate it. And that's what the four of wands represents. And there's a celebration that can be a wedding. Like these two look like they're married. Sorry, guys. I'm very disappointed that these cards are not clearer. But see, that could be a couple and this it's a wedding and they're celebrating that. It's commitment. So maybe this, the emperor is committed to something in the past or that's you or someone that you're dealing with. And so that's why this is like, well, I don't know. I don't know if I want this new thing when I have this coming up. So, you know, that's what's kind of coming up there. But let's have a look. What do we have coming up in the present? See, if there is this kind of offer coming in, this kind of recap of looking back at where you've been and, you know, what made me happy? Um, what did I commit to? So some of you, this could be a new job, a new house, um, a new relationship, like a, not a new relationship so much, but that you change your commitment level. You go up a level. Um, if you've just been dating, you become serious. If you've been like, if you've, you might decide to move in together, get engaged, get married even. So it feels like something that was done in the past, you're kind of looking back at it now and figuring out, well, you know, how did that work out for me? Is this still something that I want to do? And that is maybe why you have the four of cups coming up in the present. Now it's another four. And I'll be honest with you, I would have liked it better if the four of cups had been in the past and the four of wands was in the present, but that's not how they came out. So the four of cups, we see this guy, he's looking down, he's despondent. He's got these three cups here. They all look the same, right? And he's like, is this just more of the same? And we've got this. We've got this Princess of Pentacles, this offer, whatever it is, that offers stability, security, above this. So they're connected. So it's almost as if, like, someone makes an offer. And this can be an offer of love or friendship as well. Like, it's cup. So that's something that brings us emotional happiness. Um, yes, I mean, it can be anything. Anything can bring us happiness, right? But if this is resonating with your love life, this can be that someone offered something, like someone's put forward a proposal of some kind of like even if it's like to date um or that you know they've expressed how they feel and that they'd like a relationship but there's this sense of with that emperor looking back and kind of being stuck in his ways a little bit trying to figure out what he wants looking back at how things went in the past so for some of you this could be someone that came back and you're trying to figure out is this what I want with this person I'm sorry I've got a very itchy nose all of a sudden I did two readings I was fine and now Sagittarius um we have this fourth cup coming in though. And then, now this fourth cup, it always represents the ace of cups for me, which is um, a, a, new, a new goal at happiness, like a new cycle beginning, emotional growth, something that makes us happy, new love coming in maybe. Um, it's a spiritual energy, it's a healing energy, but he doesn't even see it because he's looking at these. So I do get the sense that some of you feel like this is just more of the same, this is just the same stuff. Whether it's someone new coming in and offering you something, whether it's someone from the past coming in and offering you something, because that four of wands in the past could be someone that you committed to in the past and now you're not so sure if you want to do that again. But it's different. See the cups? Three cups, exactly the same. This one's different. So whatever's coming in at you, it is different. It's going to offer you something different. The thing, the problem with the four of cups is though, we can become stuck. We can become stuck. Um understandable though if you have that emperor energy so he might be kind of reflecting looking back and he's stubborn so you may be just taking time to reflect but I'm not getting that so much I mean I don't have the hermit here I don't have the hanged man here this just feels like it's more oh my god is it just more of the same that's kind of it's that energy so you're feeling kind of stuck and you're not thrilled or someone isn't thrilled someone's just not thrilled about this offer whatever it is but it's different I'm telling you that it's different it leads somewhere different. There's new ha a new opportunity at happiness here. There's something different about this. And I think you realise that because you have the two of wands coming up as a future energy. Two of wands, it talks about a fork in the road, like we have to make a decision. And it's wands, it's fire energy, that's your energy. This is not a, like, just like a decision, that a mental decision, like a choice that we make. Wands is the energy that we put out into the world. It's the action that we take. So whatever is coming in, I mean, you've got wands and you've got, pentacles it's something tangible something that you can see you can feel like you know it's something that's there it's going to require some action 
And maybe that's what's giving you pause. And it's fine to, to pause, right? There's no judgment here. We don't have to rush headlong into something. If we're not sure, we're not sure. Just be just with these two cards. Just don't get too stuck. Like with the, with the emperor, he can be very stubborn. That's the thing with the emperor. He can be kind of stubborn. So just be kind of very mindful of, are you really just reflecting or are you just kind of like digging your heels in and saying, no, I don't know if I want to do this. Like, what's the basis for this? What's the basis for where you are right now? And the apathy, is it just because you don't believe it's going to be different? Is it just because it looks like more of the same? Now, you don't have to go with it. It might not be the thing for you. Two of Wands, that's why you have a choice. That's your free will. But the Two of Wands says, like, you can't stay stuck in this. That's what the Two of Wands says. You can't stay st stuck in this Four of Pentacles. Uh, sorry, Four of Cups energy, sorry. Um, you can't stay stuck in this because you, there'll be no movement. You'll be sat under that tree forever. And that's this. That's the Two of Wands. You've been going down a path and that path ends. And the path ends and you can't just, I mean, you have to pick a new path because there's no more. You can't keep going forward. You have to pick left. You have to pick right. But the thing is, if you decide not to, you'll just stay stuck where you are. Nothing will change. You'll just stand there forever. Um, and I always say with the two of wands, you have to have faith in yourself. Like a lot of the times we don't make a decision because we don't know who to trust. We don't know what's the right path. What's it, you know, I'm here to tell you there's no right or wrong path. You pick whichever path works for you, whichever one you feel is right for you. And you have to trust that you have the emperor energy. He sat above the two of wands. You have to trust that you are hit this. You have control of the situation. That if you pick a path and it doesn't work for you, you can course correct. You can change your direction. Now, what's the advice here for you? What, you know, what's coming up as um, telling you how to manifest your goals, your aims, your ambitions? It's the crowning energy and we have the princess of wands here. I think you're being reminded here of your fire energy, of your enthusiasm, of your excitement. You want something new, but for whatever reason, you're kind of stuck in this energy at the moment. You're kind of stuck in deciding what you, and it might just be that you that you, you lack that kind of confidence in yourself or whatever it is. Nose is still going. Um, the princess of wands, the princess of wands is, um, or the page of wands, this is someone who, they are going on a new adventure, excited, they have excitement, they have enthusiasm, they have that spark, that budding spark to do something new. This is almost like the Ace of Wands for me. And we have it sat underneath this Four of Wands. So it's like, whatever you committed to, maybe you committed to it in the past and you got stuck here. This can, as, as great as everyone says the Four of Wands is, it's a four. There's no movement when there's four. And you have two fours here. There's no movement. So you might have plateaued. Um, that can come up with the four ones. It can be that plateau where you kind of hit that first um, roadblock or something. And you're kind of, yeah, you're celebrating how far you've come, but then you have to move on from there. And it feels like you do move on from there. But what will get you there is your excitement, is your enthusiasm, your passion. You're a fire sign. And I know it's difficult. Trust me. I have a Sagittarius rising sign. Um, things have been far too serious, I think, um, for Sagittarius for quite a while now. Thank you, Saturn. Thank you very much. And that's why, you know, it's a, we want stability, we want security, but we also want fun and we also want passion and we want that new adventure. And that's kind of what you're being reminded about here. Look to your passions. If, it doesn't matter if they all look the same, because there is something new coming in, new chance at happiness. So what is it that you want? What is it that gets you excited? If this doesn't get you excited, then you know which path to pick, the one away from it. If it does get you excited, then you know what to pick as well. Okay. Yeah, if this makes sense. Forgiving and learning. Let me read this. It says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. This is why he's looking back. He's looking back, but it's like he's not, I mean, yes, forgiving and learning, maybe that's why he's looking back, but he's looking back at happier times. He's not looking back at the three of swords. He's not looking back at something like pain or grief. He's looking back at when he was happy. He's looking back at when he was committed to something. So maybe now it's like, you know, this is not that. It doesn't feel the same. But I do feel like with forgiving and learning, we have to release. Uh, for some of you, like I said, this could be someone coming back. That that situation. Um, like it doesn't have to be even romantic. Part of, well, I've been doing romance here with this. <coughs> Excuse me. Worst time to pick to do um, a video like this is and when you've just got over a cold and you're coughing and spluttering over the place. So I do apologize. 
but you have the four of wands so you know it, that can be a work situation that's our energies that we put out our passions our creativity does someone let you down who let you down did is it like a, an offer of job like you're thinking about going back somewhere but you're kind of very resolute that's what i like about this you're very resolute here but there is some forgiving and learning that is involved here okay and we have here, love makes the difference. And it says, love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth and importance. This is almost the entire, the entire reading. Oh gosh, come on, Jay. There we go. So love does make the difference. This again talks about past hurts. Something, it feels like you committed to something in the past and I'm guessing it didn't go the way you expected it to. And now you're giving an opportunity to commit to something like that again. Like It can be, like I said, love relationship we're talking about love here but this is the same message as what came up there whatever it is we always look at the energies kind of very generally but because they're going to play out differently for each and every single one of you but you're not sure because you were hurt in the past or because it didn't go the way you wanted it to in the past excuse me co-create this is the manifestation card but it reminds you that you co-create you co-create that you are master of your own destiny Decision, right? It's your decision. No one's going to make you do anything. No one can make you do anything. It's your decision. You you are a co-creator. Uh, you are a co-creator, sorry. So set your intentions. Decide what it is that you want to do. That's what I feel like the end of October is going to be for you guys. It's coming to a decision. Um, and it'll be the right decision. The emperor, like I said, is very good. He's very good at, you know, taking care of his empire, taking care of what he needs to take care of. But just don't be too... Um, too kind of stuck in like, you know, oh my God, it's always been like this or this is the way it's always been done. Be open. Like there could be new ideas that come up, new sparks of creativity or new passion even that crops up. Don't ignore that. Okay, two cards flipped up there. Let's see. Okay, look at them. Anxiety and action. So like, the anxiety card, let's talk about this first. So the anxiety card, there's a storm, like you can't see it very clearly, but there's a storm outside. And it's almost as if she's worried about the storm hitting, but the storm might have already moved away. It might already be going. Anxiety only speaks about the fear or the worry about something happening. It's not actually happening, or not yet. Like it might happen, it might not happen, but it's the worry of it. And it's that's kind of like what this, they're the same, look at them, head down. He's trying to figure out what he wants there. He's not really impressed by anything. She's worried about what go is going on outside the window. What's the solution to that? Action. Pick a path. Pick a path. That's what the reading is saying. And that's easy to say, right? Like in a lot of ways, this is um it's talks like it's like the chariot card. It's like you can have a victory out of this, you can move forward. You have a white horse and a black horse, that's head and heart. That's planning. Um, the logical steps that you want to take but then you have to also take the action you have to it's not enough just to come to a decision that's what I was trying to say about the two of wands it's wands energy it's not swords swords are our thoughts this is action so I feel like you're being called to take some action maybe that's why you're taking a minute like it's fine take your time um I'm doing this reading for like the end of um October second half of October but the energies play out differently for some of you you might go with this. You might think, you know what? I actually know what I want to do and you'll make this happen. For others of you, it could take a bit longer, but you have to be true to yourself. And the wonderful thing is you're a co-creator. So you have the power, the emperor energy, to take as long as you want, to make this work how you want it to work. Right. So I usually read the affirmation um, for the cards. And you've got two here. So I'm going to read you both um for anxiety and for action sorry the affirmation i don't even know if i'm making sense at this point i've been doing so many readings all right here we go let's see right so we have number 18 anxiety first and the affirmation for this is i let go of fear and worry i assume the best and live in peace all is well and then i'm going to end now with action let's see what we have so for action we have, I'm responsible for my own life. I take action toward my goals and my own happiness every day. 